Hey guys, Sarah here from The Glitter Guy, and today we are going to make our own glitter nail polish. What you are going to need is nail polish. I have clear here. Typically you're gonna want like three quarters to half of the bottle. Normally I would choose to use one that I've already used half of. However, I never paint my nails, so I had to buy a new one. So I dumped out about a quarter of it. Got a decent amount of room in there now. Of course, they sell glitter nail polish in the store, but you kind of just have to take what's on the shelf. This is going to give us the ability to have any glitter color nail polish we want. So we're going to take the brush out. I just took a little piece of a paper and I'm making a tiny little funnel with it. That way this DIY nail polish doesn't have to cost any extra money. This is a medium glitter, so we're gonna see what that looks like in here. That's probably too much. My funnel's come undone. I'm just gonna use my brush real quick to kind of like get some going in there and let's mix it up. Oh, now that I've never seen anything look so pretty in the store. Let's see. Of course, my nails aren't the best for a nail model, but it's working. That was Sarah's birthday blend, the original one. That came out really good, actually. Let's see what we can do with the white nail polish. Our funnel fell apart last time. I think I'm gonna make it a little smaller. If you have any empty nail polish bottles at home or a bottle that's similar, instead of pouring that nail polish into a empty cup, you could always pour it right into your empty nail polish bottle so that one bottle of clear can be two, three, four different glitter colors. All right, so I chose a white glitter for this just because I'm curious if it just adds a sparkle. There we go. Of course, you can't really see what's going on in there as well as you could with the clear. If it did what I wanted it to, it kind of covered up the glitter. Yeah, so I think more glitter. And if more glitter is not the answer, I don't want to know what is. Maybe it's because I used the white glitter, then that's what went wrong with for me. I did bring an extra, just in case. Now we got so much glitter in this thing, I think we might have more glitter than nail polish, but let's find out. Make it chunky. I just don't think it works the same in white nail polish and that's okay. It worked a little bit, but mostly it just looks like there's chunk underneath my nail polish. But because we have it here, let's try the yellow anyway. You know what? I think I might've had it all backwards. Let's try the white glitter again. There's a much better way to do this and it's not the way I'm doing it. A small spoon would be preferred. Pinch of the finger and we got it. All right, so there's a good amount of white opal glitter in there. Let's see what we did. You can see that there's glitter on the inside of this one, but it's not coming out how I wanted it to. Colored nail polish, no good. Clear, very good. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely tell that there's glitter in it, but also mostly it just looks like there's chunky underneath. The clear, however, huge win. Look at that. With Sarah's birthday blend in it. Not doing too bad for a left-handed paint job. That looks so pretty. All right, guys, well, Clear nail polish was a huge winner. I would highly suggest grabbing yourselves some clear nail polish. Hopefully you have some empty bottles laying around that you can pour half of it into the other bottle so that you can have two different glitter nail polishes from one bottle of clear. Uh, our color didn't work as much as it did in my head, but that's okay because you can always color your nails any color you want and put your own glitter nail polish over it with clear. If you guys haven't yet, please like and subscribe to our channel so you can always see all of the new videos that we put out. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video.